This is Olbermann versus Trump and I'm not Trump. This is, in short, the greatest internal threat to our democracy since the Civil War. 18 days before the inauguration of President-elect Biden, seven Republican senators led by Ted Cruz with four senators-elect are demanding, quote, an emergency 10-day audit of the election returns in the disputed states due to, quote, unprecedented allegations of voter fraud. There are no allegations of voter fraud, not even in the nitwitted lawsuits filed by Trump and his toadies. There are no disputed states. There are no emergencies. There is only sedition. Senator Cruz and the other 10 conspirators may think they are making a deft political move to shore up the fascist end of their base and dressing it up as a high-minded replay of the 1876 Electoral Commission. In fact, Cruz and the others have merely lit a match to a corner of our Constitution. This democracy requires one underlying agreement. Elections are sacrosanct. If you lose and it is close, you may have your recount. If you lose and it is not close, you cannot fabricate closeness. You cannot fabricate disputes. You cannot fabricate an excuse for an extra legal, extra constitutional audit. Even that which we have never done, removing an impeached president, would not turn the presidency over to a different political party. This coup would do exactly that. And moreover, if this Pandora's box of an emergency audit is merely taken seriously, it will become automatic. We will never again have an election in this country in which the Republican Party accepts its defeat. There are laws in this country against doing what Ted Cruz just did and what he yet wants to do, and he doesn't give a damn because it's all just politics to him and to Senator Ron Johnson and Senator Marsha Blackburn and Senator Kennedy, Senator Braun, Senator Lankford, Senator Daines, and Senators-elect Haggerty, Lummis, Marshall, and Tuberville. Remember their names because 18 U.S. Code 2385 spells out the crime of advocating the overthrow of the government. These 11 must be charged under its provisions, if not now, then on January 20th.